Welcome back to the Beer Sherpa, everyone. Um, I am excited because this afternoon I actually dropped by the brewery. And surprise, surprise, we get to talk about a new beer that is releasing. And I'm super excited because it is a beer that has been two years in the making. It was an idea that um, we had a while back, and finally it has come to fruition. But before we continue, make sure that you guys like and subscribe out there. Um, we are trying to do at least a video a week, if not two, in order to get you guys out uh, content that will help you uh, further your beer education as well as have a little shared experience with us. With a little bit of fun that we do around Off Square Brewing. Check out the VODs that are up on the channel right now. Right now we're sitting at about 31 total videos between shorts and full content. Uh, check it out, like, uh, comment, ask questions if you have any. And without further ado, let's get going with the new beer drop. I mean, look at this beer. She is absolutely beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and man, it smells magnificent. And what I have here is truly um, a beer straight out of the bright tank. They haven't even kegged it off yet. That keg is going to take place tomorrow morning before um, it actually drops. Tomorrow is Thursday, so it is going to be drop day for the brewery. Super excited about it. Um, this beer is going to go over super well. Um, we did a 10-barrel batch of it, so we're going to see how it goes, but I have a feeling that this this beer is going to be extraordinarily popular at the brewery. So let's talk grains. And I know this is going to sound really, really lame, but really what Matt and Dylan did is they used the same exact malt backing of Headshot. And the only difference here is that they collected less water than the normal headshot. And truly what this does is it allows more sugars to be available for the yeast to eat away at. And so first and foremost, they're going to use that two row barley that we love so much. That's going to give the beer a golden, beautiful color. Um, they then utilize the Munich malt and that Munich malt is going to give that multi sweet flavor that I know that, you know, really kind of deserves to be there on um, an IPA. It kind of balances out that particular style of beer, makes it a little bit less abrasive and slightly sweet. We also have that dextrin malt that we utilize in order to improve the mouthfeel. Caramel malt for that uh, sugary, caramely aspect to it. And again, all of these malts are utilized for the purpose of balancing out the beer itself with the hoppy profile that we're going to get on a double IPA. So what truly sets Double Tap apart from Headshot? Well, we've already mentioned one thing, and that one thing is literally when the guys collected water from the mash itself. They collected less water. Everything had a little bit more sugar for the yeast to feed off of. But the second is the hot profile, and that's what we're going to talk about next. So let's talk hops. And boy, I tell you, these guys did not shy away from hops on this beer. But the thing is, is that it's still all citra. It's just citra variants. And so first and foremost, we have the 90 pellets that we generally use for headshot. And this is going to give us the, the big peach and mango uh, lemon, tropical fruit, aromas, and flavors that we get from a citra hop. But we also added in more citra, and then more citra, and then more citra, and then more citra, and then more citra. But every single part is a little bit different than the other. And so we use Spectrum Citra. And Spectra Citra is going to continue to enhance those tropical fruit flavors. We're going to use that in the hop initially, just like we would 
um, with um, the T40 pellets, but we also add into the world the cryo citra hops. And the cryo citra hops are going to really smooth out and mellow things out a little bit more while still adding in those citrusy notes. On top of that, we're also going to throw in um, the incognito citra hop. And again, it's still a variance on the mango and the tropical fruit, um, but it adds in just additional layers as we go. And then we decide to add in some citra terpenes. And this is going to be a little bit different because uh, when, when I drink this particular beer and when I think about adding in terpenes within any type of IPA or any beer, there's going to be some resiny notes in it. And that is totally what you get from this beer. You get some resin, which I actually really feel thrives in this particular style of beer. Um, the turpines are thrown into the bright tank once it's transferred over and man, what a beer it is. It is truly magnificent. The combinations that we have here along with that malt backbone, Ooh, it just sings. The dry hopping that's done between the T40 as well as the uh, Citra Cryo Hop is going to kind of supercharge the aspects and the profiles and the characteristics of both styles. And so this beer is super big on the Citra notes and I can almost describe it as basically literally taking an orange and biting into it peel, rind, and all. It is quite the experience. Of course, you know, you don't got to chew it or anything, but you literally get that layering technique. You get the big citrusy notes. You get the bittering aspects of it. It is, it is quite the experience. And I'm really, really happy with the way this beer turned out. Last... But not yeast, we have the English ale yeast that is utilized in um, the fermentation process of this beer. With the English ale yeast, you're going to get um, some malt character along with the fruity esters that are going to really bring out those fruity notes within the hops and really make this beer a very, very enjoyable experience. So as I showed you guys before, this beer is a beautiful, dark, golden, amber color. It's slightly hazy. It hasn't really clarified too much yet. Um, that might come um, within the um, K conditioning process. It might clear up just a little bit, but I honestly don't mind whether it does or doesn't. This is just a beautiful, beautiful beer. Big citrusy notes right off of the aroma. It's it's just all it's all citrus on the nose. Like it it, it smells like fruit. You it's God. I I don't even know how to describe it. Like I thought Hard Day was good, but this is this is special. This is truly, truly special. And the scary thing is, is that this beer drinks way too clean. It is super clean. It does not drink like a 9% beer. You get the multi characteristics there in the middle. It's, it, it's subtly sweet, but it matches well and really balances um, the hot profile that we're, that we're utilizing. You get the, the resiny aspects of the turbine that's used. It is, it is something. And I'm really, really excited for everyone to come to the brewery and try this out. Truly, I am. So, there we have it. Another beer down. Well, not quite, but it will be. Um, Double Tap is a welcome addition to the tap list at Off Square Brewing. It's been a long time since we've had a brand new double IPA on tap, and I'm super excited about how this particular beer turned out it's citrusy it's malty it's bitter slightly it's danky 
it is it, it is such a welcome difference to our menu that I really feel like it is going to go over super well. It is not available in four packs. It is only available in crawlers to go. This is going to end up being a tier three crawler. So on um, the higher end of the crawler spectrum, but I do anticipate if we have a, uh, a, a good reception of this beer that the big bosses will okay uh, canning this in four packs to go. So make sure that you guys come in and check this beer out. It is truly something special. Double tap, double IPA, all Citra, all the time. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time on The Beer Sherpa.